Hello, my name is Torbjörn Nordling and I work as an assistant professor at the National Shengong University in Taiwan. I have a PhD in automatic control from KTH, the Royal Institute of Technology in Stockholm, Sweden, and I'm now teaching at the Department of Mechanical Engineering. So what is artificial intelligence? What's machine learning? What's deep learning? And so forth. Any one of you who could tell me what is artificial intelligence? Any one of you who could tell me what is machine learning? I believe in lifelong learning and as a teacher I try to facilitate depth learning to make the students change as human beings. In other words, invoke the highest level of learning. I do this through the following seven principles. Learning for life, collaborative learning, active learning, learning by doing, real examples that can be useful for the society, constructive alignment, and something I would like to call provocative learning. A good example of how I implement learning for life is my professional skills, which is intended to teach professional skills to engineering students, but it also includes knowledge that are essential in life, such as what's money, planetary boundaries, and how can you find love, and how should you deal with depressions? I implement collaborative learning by having students working on topics together. I'm a master student from mechanical engineer department. I have taken two courses from Professor Nordin. One is model selection and the other is scientific information. In scientific information course, you work in five to six team. You will learn information retrieval, Git, project management, coding, and social skill in the course. Also, you will learn how to communicate and have a positive conflict with your teammates to achieve efficient discussion. You can have a comprehensive learning in this course. I strongly recommend you to take this course if you can. Thank you. I use activating teaching techniques such as, for example, asking provocative questions that causes the students to stop and to think. So let's go back to the question of what is artificial intelligence. Could you please say hi to the person that sits next to you and then discuss the question what is artificial intelligence together for one minute and then after that, I will ask some of you to actually provide an answer, a suggestion, to what it is. So please say hi to the person next to you, and then discuss it. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, sorry to interrupt you, but the minute is over, I believe that you probably have reached some sort of an answer to the question. So would you like to share it with us, please? We came to the conclusion that in like, parallelism, that people from previous experiences, when they encounter a new situation, they use these experiences to um, take a decision of an action and machines or non-living things um, with artificial intelligence with previous data they have stored and they someone put inside or they actually absorb they can assess all the new situations uh, i think you are highlighting a very important part of artificial intelligence in other words to be able to have an embedded knowledge representation that then can be used for new predictions Thank you very much. I believe in learning by doing. 
because when students work with material then they have to look at all aspects of it and really incorporate it into their previous knowledge and learn how to actually apply the knowledge. Now when it comes to the diary, please add the diary entry every week before 24.00 the same day as the lecture took place while well, it's fresh in memory. It's intended to be a diary of your thoughts during the lecture. Now, please note, it's not intended that you write down what I said. The valuable thing is what you were thinking during the lecture. What were the questions that came to your mind? Now, in order for a course to work well, it needs to fulfill the principle of constructive alignment. In other words, clearly specified aims that are supported by the teaching and then tested in the exam. As, uh, as far as I understand machine learning, it's just basically some math and algorithms that you learn from data and try to make sense of it. Mm. And then you can apply it to all the things you, are men you mentioned are part of what's machine learning, but there's a little more to it. In order to be able to distinguish it from the other fields, we will come to that a little bit later. Now, I believe that the project's work should be focused on real examples that could be useful to the society and that have been chosen by the students. That's why I, in my model selection and network inference course, allow the students to select any published, uh, published scientific article and then repeat the analysis done in that article. And typically we find out that it's not documented well enough and that there are errors which then in some cases enable the students to write an article improving the work. And now we are coming to artificial intelligence. Now, my favorite definition is that AI is the field that studies the synthesis and analysis of computational agents that act intelligently. Here you have two examples of AIs. So Arthur Samuel's checkers game that was able to beat Robert Neely in 1956, the year of the Dortmund Conference, which is considered the birth of artificial intelligence. In order to foster critical thinking, I actually use something that I like to call provocative learning. And that means that I select examples that are not mainstream and where there's no clear answer and which requires a debate among the students. Hi, my name is Esteban Roman and I'm a PhD student here at Nurling Lab. Last semester, Professor Nurling was my teacher at Model Selection and Network Inference course. I want to relate to Professor John Big's constructive alignment theory of different levels of teaching. The way Nordling, Professor Nordling uh, is a teacher is level three. He's focused on what the students do. What we do to learn is learn by doing. It's active learning. We are doing what we need to do to learn. It's not only taking an old book, a standard book of learning. We're doing novel learning. It's taking the last papers available. We study this paper. We're, we're learning new things, it's not a standard book, so focusing on us instead of him and on new material is really high quality. Thank you very much for listening.